Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. This is Geek Brief TV, Brief 584. You know I love my Apple and I love my iPhone, but from the very first minute I saw it, I wondered how strange it would be to hold just a rectangular non-phone-like thing up to my head to talk. Turns out it's fine. The HTC Hero, though, is a forthcoming Android phone that brings a slight curve on the bottom that just makes it look more like a phone. It'll also play flash videos, and that has a lot of people buzzing. The display is 3.2 inches with a resolution of 480 by 320. The camera is 5 megapixels and has autofocus. It also has the new must-haves for a new phone. You know what they are. GPS, a compass, a gravity sensor, standard headphone jack, and a dedicated search button. Built-in storage is 512 megabytes. The Hero has 280 megabytes of RAM and the processor is 528 megahertz from Qualcomm. There are a million and one reasons you might want or need a second display for working, but not every one of them requires a full-sized, powerful screen. The MIMO Mini USB monitor doesn't require external power or a video card. You just plug it into an available USB port and BAM! You get 7 inches of extra screen real estate with a resolution of 800 by 480 The display rotates between portrait and landscape orientations, depending on how you want to use it. We've known about the MIMO for a while, so here's the real news about it. ThinkGeek.com started selling it, and it seems like they pretty much sold out immediately. The price is $130, and I've seen it for $200 elsewhere. Notify me when in stock, please! I mostly love the Canon 5D Mark II, and I hear about similar love from Nikon D3 owners. Both those cameras, along with many other pro DSLRs, shoot to CF cards. I don't have a problem with that, except for one little thing. You can buy SD cards at the grocery store. Compact flash cards aren't as abundant. Luckily, there's an adapter for that. PhotoFast compact flash adapters come with three options. One gives you an SD slot, one gives you a micro SD slot, and one gloriously gives you four micro SD slots with built-in RAID storage. This is obviously a good thing to have available in a camera bag. The straightforward adapters are available now. The one with RAID will start shipping next month. The switch from analog to digital brings in a whole new way to enjoy some TV watching. See this? This is the iTV Hybrid from Elgato. I've been using Elgato tuners for years, and this is one of my favorite gadgets in my house. Notice how small it is. Imagine what's inside this little dongle built into a small display. Viore imagined something exactly like that and built the PLC 7V95 7 inch portable television. It has a rechargeable lithium ion battery so you can enjoy TV wherever there's a digital signal. It also has USB and SD inputs for viewing photos and playing MP3s. Stereo speakers are built in, but it also has audio and video input and output. The antenna is external and magnetic, so that might damper a little of the portability experience, but you gotta love a handheld TV that also has a remote control. One more. Vizio will soon and very soon offer up a Blu-ray player exclusively through Walmart for only $188. It's BD Live Ready as soon as you add an optional 1GB or larger USB thumb drive. The Walmart exclusivity will end later this year when the player ships to other outlets. That's it. Still working on the GoDaddy promo code thing. Thanks for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye!